Hello everybody, welcome back. So we're going to talk about Web3 2023. All these metaverses and things like that are just popping right now. Is this the bull run? I don't know. Could be just a little bounce and then we're going back down a little bit. Stretch it out a bit longer, then a bull run. Who knows? But we're going to talk about those metaverses, boy. They're popping really bad. But first, let's take a look at this article here, man. Who are they trying to fool? Get rid of that, please. Why the hell is that there? All right, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so Bank of America says CBDCs are the future of money and payments. No, man, you should. Oh, this is what really pissed me off right here. Maybe the most significant technological advancement in the history of money. No, 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 no. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not CBDCs. No, I don't think so. Stable coins, maybe, but CBDCs are like the enemy, right? We got to stay away from that. In some countries already, they're only allowed to take out a certain amount of dollars, dollars a day. And the rest has to be spent in digital currency. Wow, that's a form of tyranny, people. I think they go on to mention it down here too. But uh, I don't want to look for that right now because that's not what this uh, video is about. <laughs> anyway, so... Decentraland posts 81% rise over the week, leads a metaverse token rally. Yeah, man, these metaverses and things, Web3s, this is the year. Various tokens from popular metaverse projects have experienced explosive price growth over the last seven days, outpacing even market leaders like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's right. So Mana, that's the Decentraland's coin, they've gone up 81%. It's a metaverse right so people can come there have meetings that live across the world they want to do business together they can come into this place all sit down talk with their avatars you know what i mean yeah it's a little i guess corny but it's cool too right you can do a lot more if you're an individual in the metaverse with nfts you can open up a shop sell your fashions your music your art even open up your own crypto news store or just basic news store in the metaverse people can drop by visit whatever just like a youtube channel right or a social media channel except it's more interactive so mana so mana's biggest rival the sandbox yeah it has risen 41 percent its token is called sand and uh it's around 70 72 cents right now the same as mana mana's around 72 cents which which makes sense these are both pretty big metaverse platforms uh i, I like uh i don't know i don't want to say which one i like better they're both got their the good and bad stuff but uh they're both really big really popular and native token axie infinity is at nine dollars now this game here i don't know man i got run over because i first started playing this what a year ago year and a half ago two years ago i don't know anyway it's like a pay to play game right and eventually you start losing and you have to pay get your characters up build them up even more pay for new ones and it got too expensive man so you pretty much got pushed out whales great for them but the normal person they got pushed out now they had a lot going on since then because i had to like just leave it because it was like costing me too much to be involved with it but right now they have a whole bunch of other stuff going on give them a look give them a check but yeah it might take a bit of money to get involved with that immutable x this is a blockchain platform that operates as a speedy layer two solution for Ethereum. It simplifies, it simplifies the creation of NFTs for blockchain developers. The platform's native IMX token rallied 30% last Tuesday and presently trades at around 62 cents. I love Immutable X. They're like a blockchain in a marketplace. It's amazing. You can get your uh, NFTs on there and you can start selling them as like a like a marketplace <laughs> but anyway immutable x was tapped as the blockchain of choice for games developers tinyverse which started developing its latest title a building and management game on solona but spun out last week due to the network's recent troubles ho ho solona boy that price has gone crazy that's up in the 20s now wasn't it just like 13 bucks 11 bucks oh it was good to make money on but as a project itself I'm not a fan of Solana. It's too much of a VC token, VC chain, VC pumped. It's been tied to FTX and it's bankruptcy. It's not good. Like it mentions it right here. Solana was heavily affiliated with the bankrupt FTX exchange and has to depreciate by well over 90%. Yeah, it was this coin was like up in the 200s, right? Now it's down to like 20 bucks, 23 bucks. 
But anybody holding on to that or got in around 12 bucks, 13 bucks, congratulations, you just made a lot of money. There's a game called Gods Unchained. It is sick. You can sell them, your NFTs from that game on Immutable X. I just put some into the system. Like I got some, I looked at my deck, my cards, what did I have? And I threw it on there and I forgot about it. And a couple of weeks later, I went to go back, I checked it and they sold. Like I was like, wow, here's some extra cash. Unreal. So yeah, Gods Unchained, check it out. I highly recommend Gods Unchained. It's a really fun game. It's competitive. Don't think you're going to go in there and whoop ass. You're not. You're going to get your ass handed to you. It's really fun, really competitive, strategic, and an awesome game. You play to earn, right? You get decks and cards the more you play, and those cards could be worth money, and you can sell them on the marketplace. If you get doubles, you can sell them on the marketplace. Newbies are just going to come in, buy some good cards so they can start competing, right? That's the idea. So Flow. Flow grew by 33% this week. Flow is a blockchain specifically built specifically built for NFTs. It currently powers projects like CryptoKitties and the NBA licensed Top Shot digital trading cards. Oh. According to NFT data aggregator CryptoSlam, sales volume for Flow based on NFTs blew up a staggering 77% last week, undoubtedly driving the price of the blockchain's native token. Yeah, I don't know much about Flow to be quite honest. Very little. So I really can't say much about Flow. Yeah, so let's carry on. So like Web3, the metaverse is a broad term that encompasses a spectrum of things. Generally, though, it refers to a new digital environment that builds on the current internet in which consumers will interact with their digital world through virtual reality interfaces. Apple. I think that's what they're going to talk about here. Industry chatter around the term grew last week on reports that Apple will reportedly enter the space in spring with the release of its own combined virtual reality VR augmented reality AR headset. <laughs> wow. Microsoft leader Bill Gates also mentioned the metaverse last week. He said that he remains unconvinced by Web3 technologies and believes artificial intelligence, intelligence is the more revolutionary technology. I think combining the two crypto metaverses blockchain and ai right that's where the future should should be that's where it should go that's the road microsoft bill gates didn't he say that comments way back in the day that he didn't believe in the internet he didn't see it amounting to much <laughs> bill gates is like uh wow i'm about to get a little political here so for you sensitive people put your earmuffs on <laughs> uh bill gates is an asshole he got into like the open source coding community back in the day. Everybody was trying to make humanity better by building all these codes and computers. He comes in, patents shit, and sells it to people, right? He wasn't part of this open source. So right away, he wanted to centralize and make money. Then he got into medicine. He got into vaccines. Boom. We have a pandemic. Mm-hmm. There was no such thing as viruses either in the computer when computers and code were being first written back then by the community and a bunch of developers. What was it, back in the early 80s and shit like that? Yeah, Bill Gates patents everything, sells stuff. And next thing you know, there's viruses in those computers. And you have to pay him to fix those viruses. Uh-huh. He's into medicine. Uh-huh. Pandemic. Now he just bought up all the farmland in America. He owns the most farmland in America. He wants to get involved in the food industry now. So everywhere he goes... Bad things happen. He's all about centralized power and control, this Bill Gates guy. He is the enemy. You can catch a speech where he actually said, vaccines will be doing good for population control. What the hell does that even mean, right? Why does vaccines and population control come up in the same sentence? And I saw him say this. I heard him say it in a video, him on stage. And people for years after that have had some very serious questions about that. So Bill Gates, now he's into food. And there's whole, there's whole agenda now about pushing crickets onto people, eating insects because it's safer for the environment. These climate change people, these when has any government or any business done anything for climate change or anything to make the world better? They haven't, right? This is a, a scheme by them to centralize things even further and to put more tyranny into our lives. Like that CBDCs, it's all coming, right? They're going to know what you spent, what you spent it on, how much you're spending. They're going to come in like mama and dada 
and just take care of your life for you. You can't spend this much on this. You're doing harm to the environment, harm to yourself. You're eating too much sugar. You're eating too much fat. You're not eating healthy food. You're not producing enough to the, to the environment. This is what CBDCs and things are about. They're going to start cutting you off. As soon as you protest against the government, we've already seen that. You can't protest against the government. They'll cut off your bank account. That's what Trudeau did because when he introduced the Emergencies Act, it allowed him to do things like that and put police on the road to trample people and horses that didn't have badges or their names. Just like this militia by the government trampling people. Yikes. Sorry, but I'm just a little more than crypto. Crypto to me is freedom. And all these things in my mind come along with it. Governments and their actions. And companies and their actions. Like Cobalt, 70% uh, com comes from the Congo. And I've seen videos lately and pictures lately from the Congo where there's just, it's inhumane. There's kids by the hundreds, if not thousands, mining, giving us our battery energy. We're all at fault. We're all doing this to kids, if you think about it, right? And it's a bad thing. So these centralized entities, they really don't care about the environment or people because these companies, 70% of our battery life comes from the Congo. And it's all kids dying, getting diseases, old people, poor people being reduced to just machines. They're not worth anything, just no life, right? This is what the corporations of the world are about. So this is why I'm talking about this stuff, because it's real. And I see it, and I believe it. All right, so that was just a bit of a rant. And uh, Web3 2023, let's do this. Let's, like, keep everything decentralized. Let's put the power back in our pocket. Because it's the first time in history where we can right now take everything that we own, stocks, whatever's in our bank account, pop it into our own crypto wallets, Bitcoin, altcoin, whatever is your fancy, keep it in your own possession, and we just crush the whole entire system. Spread the word around that that's how easy it, is, it could be done, and it's the first time in history we can do it right now. That's why they're scared of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. They have no problem putting everything on digital money and in their systems, right? The blockchain is for the people, and we can make a lot of money for ourselves and have a lot of power and control for ourselves by getting involved with crypto. And if we all do it, we all hold the power and control. But for right now, all their money is in their system. So they make 10 times the money on our dollar. And we get like point something percent out of that deal and transaction. Meanwhile, they just made 10 times that on our dollar. And they use that against us by buying up businesses, land, even using it to short other companies, their competitors, and buy up their stocks and crush them. Like They just do all this horrible things in order to make money take that away from them put it in your own bank account and all these rich people that you think are smart and leaders of the world they will come to us we're not going to eat crickets we're not going to be monitored everything we spend and judged on everything that we spend this ain't the future that's not the future i want this is where it's going the wef has claimed this bill gates has claimed this all these people have claimed this. Bank of America is claiming this. Everybody is claiming this. Everything's going to be centralized and digitized. We have to make sure it goes in the right direction. All right. So that's my little political rant at the end of this video. I just think we all should be more aware of where our products are coming from, who's involved, who's doing what. But for now, stay free. Stay Web3 free in 2023. <laughs> Damn, that was corny. All right, so uh, this is the Crypto Realm. Play hard, trade smart.